final match of the season. Could Luton stay up again? For the second year running, it's Derby County who are the opposition this year at Kenilworth Road. Further beyond him is Mick Harford. Right going for it though. Oh, a missed kick by McDonough. Harford drove it well and a flying save from Alec Chamberlain. On from Harford. Saunders beaten to it by Dreyer. Here's Elstrup. And Derby back pedalling. Elstrup goes on and on. Black hole. It was a reasonable chance. But on our synthetic surface, the contact has to be virtually 100%. And when you look at this again, you'll see that Kingsley Black got it down towards the heel of his left foot. He's uh, normally pretty reliable, but it's a tense affair, this. Although Black and Luton have been through it before. Too often for their comfort. It's Black's attempted cross now, and uh, he really is at the moment trying a bit too hard. Skipped away from Priest when he thought he was going to be able to set Luton going. In the end, David Priest gets a tackle in on the retreat. Nicely done by Reese. Black. Reese is free to the right. Black still looks and doesn't use him and crosses instead. Priest to take it. Starting to show for the short one and has uh, moved away now. Header from Dreyer. Priest again. And again. Derby have pulled plenty of players. Their pride trying to end their disastrous season with a victory. Long from McDonough. And that's Farrell climbing well. With the sale of Ian Dowie earlier this season, Sean Farrell has the opportunity here to earn a regular place. Dreyer pushing uh, Pembridge out of the way. Pembridge gets his toe to it. And Farrell is away from right. And it was all fairly untidy. But George Courtney doesn't rule in Farrell's favour. He got in front of Mark Wright and then Wright was able to get to the struggling to hold the ball up in the Luton half and Luton pressing strongly. Oh and Farrell! Well they really have had enough chances already. Should run on the ball that took it to Farrell but it was a clear opening. defending in his midfield job at the moment. Four minutes to go to half time. And here's Reese with the free kick. Oh, it's a goal! And I think it came off with great irony the head of Mick Harper, the former Luton player, who headed so many fine goals for Luton. And he's got another one wearing Derby's colours. Well, Luton don't mind how the goal came. They are in front and that will surely relax them. Trying to avoid the news of how Sunderland are getting on at Main Road. But Luton are in the better position of the two clubs who are trying to avoid going down with Derby. Here's Paul William. But Luton are on a high. Pembridge. Farrell! Well, Shelton went one way. The ball powerfully went the other. 
to I, Matt. Reese has got it back. This is Black. Cambridge. Well, Luton have had to lean heavily on their young players and some have really come of age this season and Mark Pembridge would come into that category. Farrell waiting by the near post, Elstrup just behind him, Shilton doing the organising. And Priest pondering as to what to do with the corner. Oh, it's come for Black and for Elstrup! It was Alstrup's goals that kept Luton in a presentable position in the table. And here he is again, in the right place, very much at the right time for Jim Ryan's team. 2 0. has made a great run he hasn't scored this season and he still hasn't oh and it's right again against the bar but very little has gone for them and the same applies here Michael White, good handling by Chamberlain Two to stop him. There it is! Luton Town stay in the first division. And for the third successive year, they've done it on the last day of the season.